Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and this is the Galaxy S10e that I finally got in. Now I have been using the Galaxy S10 Plus for quite some time now, and I'm almost ready to talk about it, but I did want to get the S10e just to gain some extra perspective on this phone, especially because this one's much more pocketable, smaller, and I am really enjoying smaller phones these days. Now this guy right here is a 128 gigabyte, six gigabyte of Ram Flamingo Pink S10e. And I wanted to get the six gigabyte version really just to compare to the eight gigabyte version base model of the S10 Plus. I honestly think that six gigabytes is still enough, especially for me and my use. So let's go ahead and get the zip box open. Now this was really, really a good deal because I got this right from Samsung. I did the trade-in program and this was $200. So what I was able to do was tell them that I'm going to give them my Galaxy S8 Plus. And what they tell you is that make sure to hold on to the S8 Plus or whatever phone that you send in because you get 15 days to check out the phone. So you don't have to immediately lose your phone that you're sending in. So $200 on the trade-in program. You can buy the phone, play with it, test it out before even having to send in your trade-in phone. So no worries. So let's get it out of the box. And of course, I just had to go for that flamingo pink. And that is a really fun, what color is that? That's kind of like orangey, pinkish, salmon. It doesn't really know what color it is, but that's beautiful. And I can see that we have a screen protector pre-installed. I'm sure I'll be taking that off. This one does not have the in-screen fingerprint sensor, so I don't have to worry about what screen protector I use. Instead, this has a side-mounted capacitive fingerprint sensor, which I'm seeing is very, very quick. I'm excited to use this. On the sides here, we've got this chrome-looking orange. We've got also some plastic protectors. Eh, give me a minute. Alrighty, so we've gotten all those little plastic protective bits off. And you know what? Screw it. Let's take off this screen protector too. I'm sure all you screen protector vigilantes are going to hate me at this moment. So let's see what else is in the box quickly. So we've got our charging adapter here. We've got a USB-C adapter here. Here are some AKG headphones. Looks like right here we've got the charging cable. And that is all that's in the box. All right, so let's look at the Galaxy S10 Plus real quick here. And you can see there's quite a difference in size between the S10 Plus and the 10e. That's a perfectly pocketable size. And we have an iPhone 10s right here next to it. And you can see that it's actually just a tiny bit smaller than the iPhone 10s. I believe they both have 5.8 inch displays and that's feeling like the sweet spot for me. Now this is an absolutely gorgeous display and I love it, but I've been having a little bit of issues with finger rejection and palm rejection as I'm holding this phone. Now since the Galaxy S10e does not have a curved display, I don't think I'm going to be having those issues, so I'm excited to check that out. So let me know if you guys have been encountering the issues that I have been. I really like to watch Hulu, Netflix, all those things on my phone. And I notice if I'm not careful, I'm always skipping to a different episode or I'm skipping to a different YouTube video and that gets kind of annoying. Now that's been an issue with pretty much all Samsung's curved phones. So that's nothing new. It's just been really sticking out to me. So I'm excited to try something a little bit different. Finally, no curves. So let's go ahead and get this started up. See how I feel about it. Now, as I'm doing that, spec-wise, this is very similar to the Galaxy S10 Plus. You're really not missing out on too much. You can see that we only get two cameras here on the back, but you do have that main camera and the wide-angle camera. You're just not getting that extra portrait camera. And we are missing the heart rate sensor on the back. Then on the front, you can see that we've got a single camera setup here, and we've got a dual camera setup on the Galaxy S10 Plus. And I'm really not bummed about this because this is just a depth camera on the front for portrait mode. This phone still does portrait. It's just going to do it all with computation instead of having some depth information. Otherwise, this little guy is just like the S10 Plus. I know some people are bummed that this doesn't have a Quad HD Plus display, but it's 1080p and at this pixel density, it's still really good. I can't complain at all. Let's finish setting it up. All right, so now it's all set up and I can already tell that it's quite a bit more manageable for me to use than the Galaxy S10 Plus here. And yeah, still I'm seeing that's, this is a pretty big phone when you start getting used to these smaller sized phones here. Now, for those of you who don't have very big hands or 
really tiny hands like I do, you're still going to have a little bit of trouble with this phone because the fingerprint sensor is quite high up here. So I have to choke up quite a bit to just tap here and it's extremely fast to turn this on and unlock it. I barely realize I've done anything. So in that way, this feels faster than this one does. I do think it's quite cool though that we've retained a gesture that I really love. So if you swipe down on the power button slash fingerprint sensor here, you can see you have the drop down to look at your notification shade. Now, this is a little bit hard for me to do, so I can still, of course, do this from the home screen. But I'm noticing that executing the camera is a little bit awkward with this button being where it is. I can still do it, but I found a better solution. I'm really happy that we can kind of remap the Bixby key now. So now I'm just gonna do double tap on the Bixby key and it's gonna open up the camera for me. Now, as I'm pressing this home button, I'm seeing that it really doesn't have all that much feedback. Let me know if it's the same for you, but that's just something that I'm noticing. It's kind of hard to tell whether I have turned it off or not. Now, as a last little tidbit, I noticed that the grayscale calibration between the 10E and the 10 Plus is not the same. So on the vivid mode, you can see that black clips with the 10E, but it doesn't on the S10 Plus. The gradient looks pretty smooth on the S10 Plus, so nice job, Samsung. I was really excited to see that. But then I felt a little bit confused because the natural mode, which contains the sRGB and P3 color spaces, depending on how the content is tagged, looks entirely different on the S10 Plus. And this is the mode that they should have gotten it right on. It's the only mode that conforms to any calibration standard. I employed some of my audience to test theirs and they noticed the same thing with the S10 Plus, so I don't get it. Test yours, image link is in the description. Just keep in mind that you need to be in a completely dark room when you do this. Now the S10e still clips on the natural mode and most annoying is that my dark grays shift to purple at lower brightness. So when watching dark scenes, I see purple blotches in my shadows. Not cool. Some of my viewers noticed the same thing on their 10es too. All of this is nothing new though. I just keep wishing they will fix this from generation to generation. My 10S doesn't have this clipping problem. So wrapping this up for now, the 10E is a really nice little phone. I think I might end up preferring the under the screen fingerprint sensor on the 10 plus though, just because of the location and my ability to reach it with ease. The display is gorgeous, aside from some shadow issues. It has all the basics and none of the excess. So in a few days, I will see which I prefer. So this has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos. And have a good day, you guys.